Um, Neil Booth is a name that I've known of for 20 years now. Um, heard of him 20 years ago. I picked up a copy of um, Stephen, Stephen Richards' book. I think it was Viv Graham and um, Lee Duffy's Parallel Lives. So um, there's a picture of Lee and um, Neil in that book. So I asked an uncle of mine, uh, I said, who's, who's that in the picture with Lee Duffy? Uh, un uncle, a man called Robert Parsons said, it's a guy called Neil Bo Boovey. So um, obviously everyone's aware of who Neil Booth is. Um, if, uh, you know, Duffy was Batman, then he was he was certainly his boy wonder. Um, Duffy was a, a one-man mob, didn't need an army, didn't need a gang. But um, the majority of the time, he would be around Boovey. Uh, Neil... Um, was certainly the closest around Duffy's life, certainly the last two years. Um, but yeah, going back to... So, I, so obviously, I, I started becoming an author in 2017. And um, I think I did the Lee Duffy page uh, back of 2017. Um, so, you know, there was a lot of people up in arms. Um... What are you doing that for? Suspicious, not happy about it. Some people were. And uh Neil Neil Booth must have um must have messaged me of some sort, you know, sounded me out as a bit suspicious. And uh, you know, started talking to him. I was very aware that um he would never actually talk to me in an open manner. Um that was until I'd finished the book. Uh, it was a funny story, actually, how I met Neil, because I was walking. The book came out in the August 2018. And um, when I'd finished the book, I was walking past uh, the Masham in Middlesbrough, which is like the back of the Cleveland Centre. Hill Street Centre, sorry. So... Obviously, I'd spent months talking to Neil and um, I'd never met him. Never met him at that point. And I could see him sat there with, um, sorry, stood there with his lovely daughter, Amelia. Uh, she's a cracking kid, got a massive future in front of her, bags of personality, supermodel looks. And uh, I think Amelia must have only been about 14, 15 at the time. So I could see Neil kind of stood talking to her. And I knew what he was doing. He was looking at the Masham and um, basically saying, I could see him saying, we used to go in there and we used to go there and me and Lee used to go. And I kind of crept up behind him. Uh, we went to the Isaac Wilson's for a drink. Uh, and that was, that was three years for over three and a half years ago now. Um, and then only after I'd done the first book, that was when he started talking to me. Uh, I'm quite aware that he had his barriers down for for the full, all the time I was doing the book. He didn't know me. Um, I gather that he was very suspicious of me. Um, Neil is, even today, he's someone who doesn't let anyone in his company. Um... And I think that's a lot down to his childhood. Um, you know, when he when he started hanging around with Duffy at the back end of 87, um, I think they instantly clicked. They kind of became their own family. Neil um had a had a not the not the best of lives and was brought up in children's homes and all that. So when them two got together, they were just like love at first sight. And uh, you know, long story short, I've I've kind of become um, best friends with Neil, if you like. Um, yeah, uh, 
I, yeah, you know, we, we've done quite a lot the last couple of years. He's someone who, um, who does, you know, last couple of years I'm, uh, I'm more switched on with who I've got my company with. And um, there's no one who I would trust as much as Neil Booth and vice versa. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe with a, the gay couple without the sex. Uh, although that's down to me. That's, you know, Neil. Neil is what he is. But um, no, I love him. I absolutely love him dearly. And there was a girl last night on the page, uh, very well known in South Bank. And she was saying, Do you know what, Jamie? Um, Neil, you know, he, uh, you can trust him with your life. And he, he doesn't really want to talk about that part of his life. You know, he doesn't. Um, although I've said to Neil, listen, if you die tomorrow, there's a book on you in six months' time. Uh, and I'll give the, I'll give the, you know, we'll support you. The Frank Lee Booth Fund does a lot of my book support. Um, but I, I actually dedicated one of my books. To, I did to Neil um, last year. Um, it supports the Frank Lee Booth Fund. Uh, and that was just basically, you know, he had a bad time. It was probably six seven eight months um after the loss of his son and uh i know it was probably a bit of a gay thing to do but i just wanted to you know i don't know pick him up if you like but um obviously i dedicated the the duffy um the duffy documentary we did last year with fat cat productions i dedicated that to his son sambo lee booth um i pay many um from various projects I do to the Frankie Lee Boo Fund. Uh that's what Neil's um grandson. Both both were named after Lee, Sambo and Frankie. And um wow, you know, I can only say I can only imagine that, you know, if he ever did his book. He's never gonna. Um I've heard so many stories last last couple of years. Um and I've just had to respect it. Um you know, but I know, I know so many stories. Um, it's probably not for anyone's ears. Um, it told me in confidence, told me just to be my friend. Um, not for any books, and uh, I've always respected that he's never been. He's never been involved in anything I've ever did professionally. Um, you know, any any work wise, he's never. Uh, I've never, you know, anything he's told me has always been in the strictest of confidence. But um, you know, it's funny because he um he bought a he bought a watch, I think it was last year. And he was ringing up. I think it was a guy from Birmingham, and um, done the phone, and he said, "Yeah, Neil Boo, whatever, can I buy you?" And the guy never knew him from Adam, but obviously he'd, he'd watched the stories or read the books, and he said, "Can I just before you?" Go any fair, he said, are you the Neil Boo from Middlesbrough? And um, I was in red car with Neil about, about two years back. And uh, it was supposed to be in Red Car Seafront or somewhere. So he went in his shop and I was in his car just waiting outside. And he said, there was a gang of lads just walking around circling me. And he, and he said, excuse me, mate, are you that bloke from Jamie Boyle's books? Uh, although he shies away from the limelight and he really, really, you know, 30 years ago this month, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a long time ago. Um, when he was running about with Duffy when he was 19, 21, 21. He's 51 now. Um, you know, I know I've really got to know Neil as well as, as anyone. And uh, one thing I will tell you, though, is if he's as, still as crackers as he is today at 51, um, doesn't bear thinking about how much, how mental he must have been when he was, um, you know, just going out for days on end because he still is. He still is absolutely crackers. And considering he's like, um, I don't know, maybe the, my most mentalist friend on the sesh, um, he's the only one I'm allowed out with by myself because my wife actually loves him more than I do. Um, I think Neil likes 
my wife more than he likes me. Um, no, we just clicked. Just um, there's a lot of trust. And uh, you know, uh, listen, it's, no, it's never going to happen. But you could honestly, I, you know, I know how big the the first book was, um, and uh, you know, there's so many stories that I've heard and uh, have to go in one ear and out the other. And I can assure you, honestly, if some of the stories were ever put into a book, um, because this is a guy who doesn't want limelight, doesn't have to make up stories, um. You know, certain people have. Um, obviously, Neil was. I think there's about six pictures of him with Lee. I've seen carrying his coffin and all that. And uh, he's he's kind of turned his back on any kind of links. Very proud that he was, you know, close to Lee and friends and all that, and his trust. But certainly on a on a, um a social media scene, any he's never been linked. Um. To anything I've done other than I've dedicated a book to him. Uh, I've dedicated the film to his grandson, uh, son, um, and many of my projects support the Frankie Lee Boo Fund. And that's as far as Neil Booth goes. He's never um he's never been involved in anything uh other than that. And uh yeah, but he's a really, really good guy. And um I've met a lot of people last couple of years around that scene. Middlesbrough, back in that generation, if you like, 30 odd years ago. Um, and I've never come across anyone yet who has a bad word to say about the guy. Um, yeah, he's uh, just a larger than life character. Had a really, really bad time these last 18 months losing his son. Uh, yeah, before that, he was locked up in Thailand um, for the sake of, I think he had a joint worth on him. Um, only Neil Booth could do that, so could go abroad halfway across the world and get <laughs> and get locked up. Um, yeah, crazy. But, um, yeah, th you know, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of comments. Every, any, any picture I ever put on of Neil on anything, there's so much love for the guy. Uh, oh, boo with this. Oh, boo with that. And uh, yeah, just don't go out drinking with him. Um, yeah, because you're, you're always wrote, I'm always wrote off for about five days afterwards. But he's a really interesting guy. He's a really fun guy to be around with. Um, never, never ceases to put a smile on your face where he's just doing something completely barking mad off his head. Oh. He, he has some funny mannerisms about him that he's still got, you know. He still won't think anything of, you know, I've probably got to be careful what I say on here. Um, driving to certain places and, yeah, just being totally and utterly barmy. And as I said, if he was... Um, and I think that was the bond. I think Duffy, you know, Neil, Neil is... Um, Neil's very much one of the lads. Um, don't get me wrong, he's, you know, done his time in prison and all this and being a bit of a lad and a fighter and a jack the ladder or whatever. But he didn't have Lee Duffy's thirst for violence, if you like. Um, but other than that, um, he may be actually been crazier than Duffy. So when them two were kind of got together, it was like, you know, brother from another mother, if you like. Um, yeah. You know, there's there's lots of stories I've heard. Not even you know from not not nothing to do with Neil, but uh, you know from people around and and I think Neil was one of the people allowed to kind of scream back at Lee and um, certainly live to tell the tale. But yeah, he's a he's a great guy, and I don't know, maybe one day. I don't know, you know. Listen, honestly, if there's two books I could do on the planet, right? Seriously, cards on the table. Um, I would love to do maybe, um, I've been to stay with, um, Paul Sykes' wife on a couple of occasions. Um, you know, would never expect it to do a book because it's, it's too difficult, but I know what a book that would, would be. And, uh, these last couple of weeks or months, I've been talking to them, a lot of heroes of mine, a lot of footballers, 
Celtic players, actors, boxers. Um, so I'm going away from the true crime genre now. Certainly be finished at the end of this year. And um, next year, I'm only going to be going in. But do you know something? If someone said to me, would you want to do Henrik Larson's book? You know, I'd be... You know, someone like that, Paul McStay, someone I'd be, you know, starstruck. But if someone said to me, what would you rather write? Someone like that book or what would you more genuinely be interested in? Neil Boo's book. And I've got to say, they're probably, it's probably Neil's along with maybe Sykes's missus. Um, that they're probably the two books on the planet that I would drop everything for. Um very sad it's not going to happen um got over that got over that actually years ago um had to had to kind of accept it uh and it believe me it wasn't for the want of me trying <laughs> it really really was uh i you know i I've, I've offered i not you know back a few year back i've offered neil like there's you know there's probably nobody on the planet i would literally give that deal to um because obviously i'm greatly fascinated with two i know how much money it'd make um and three uh yeah it just that how how interesting how intriguing that whole um whole them journeys would be you know uh but yeah as i said i don't think it's ever ever gonna happen and uh yeah i think a lot of people in teesside are Sad about it. There's always some kind of message I get each each week, whether it be um on Twitter, Instagram, um the lads Warcry Publishing tell me there's a lot of comments on YouTube. Uh, even some of my fellow authors who I'm friends with have said, "Oh, tell Boovy, send this," and I, you know, and um, yeah, it's unfortunate not to be, but um, yeah, I you know. Lovely, lovely guy. Absolutely love Neil. Um, really, really stupid. <laughs> He's um, and I mean that in the nicest possible way. But he is really, really stupid. Uh, you know, it's funny actually. I won't. Someone once said to me a couple of years back. Um, said he's my mate and I love him, but he's half a doyle. Uh, obviously that's a Middlesbrough Middlesbrough dialect, and he said that to me years ago. Um, a well-known person and uh, obviously getting on last couple of years I can fully relate to that uh, to that comment or that expression I think it's uh, I think it really sums him up he's uh, he's he's like one of the best people you'll ever come across in your life but he is actually half a doyle <laughs> uh, you know and, and, and I don't think I think that's part of his makeup I still think he'll be half a doyle in thirty years' time when he's in when he's in his eighties, and no, I don't think he'll ever grow up. I think he's just got that uh, gene, uh, booth gene that is just, you know, just as bonkers. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it, you know, he might go mad at me for saying this. Um, I mean, I've been with him. I've been with him when he's had six hundred pound in his pocket, but he's went in a shop and nicked a sandwich, and a, and a chocolate bar. Um, you know, him and Duffy. That was one of their favorite things they used to do. They used to outdo each other, and uh, he's absolutely crackers. But I just think that's his uh, his personality. Along may continue. Um, I'm absolutely honoured to to be his close friend, um, and I know that there'll be lots and lots of comments below this. Um, just saying the same, saying the same things that I have. So, um, yeah, Neil Booth, aka the Sesh Monster, the Sesh Gremlin, Booth Meister. Um, yeah, I you could only imagine what his what his book would be, but um, sadly, it's it's not for it's not for for happening. But uh, anyway, we do love him regardless, and we will forgive him. Don't forget to click and subscribe, guys. Um, you might be watching this on some of my Facebook pages, YouTube pages, but um, click and subscribe to the channel War Cry Publishing. Thanks for your time. God bless.